What's up guys, Dexapin in here, playing more Pokemon Legends, and I love this game. This is one of the best games I've played uh, all year, and it's only the first two months. <laughs> but I want to talk about Pokemon Legends uh, Shiny Hunting, and the percent of basically how to find Shinies. So, um, they do have Shiny bonus rates, so if you have your research level to 10, you get a bonus rate, which basically cuts your Shiny rate in half, so it lets you get bigger chance of getting shinies. If you look at this picture here, I'll link in the description below to where to find this. As you can see, the more stuff you have, the more bonuses you can get. So if we go to a Pokemon here, such as Psyduck, as you can see, I have a research level 10 complete. So because of that, I'm getting my base shiny rate. It's gonna go from one every 4,096 to one every 2048 and that's just for having the research level 10. Now if I complete the research level and make Psyduck perfect I'll get the research level 10 and the research perfect and I'll have four extra shiny rolls to make it one in 1000 chance rate which is a it's a pretty good chance rate and so I guess we're gonna go over there head to the Maryland's and see if I can't find a blue Psyduck because I think that'd be really cool because I already have the research level and so that's one in tw one I'll find one in every 2,000 I see it's not too bad if it takes us too long we can try to um, get the research perfect and also you get the shiny charm for completing the pokedex if you're wondering and a mass outbreak well I'll show you what that is so I didn't even know what mass outbreak was until I looked we don't have one right now but mass outbreak basically means Sometimes on the screen there'll be a Pokemon's face and whenever you click it It'll say there's been a mass outbreak of that Pokemon So there's none showing up right now, but sometimes there'll be a picture of a Pokemon's face and That's basically how you know if there's a mass outbreak. So we're gonna head here and see if I can't find Me a nice pretty blue Psyduck. Oh my gosh guys. This is insane. The first 10 minutes of me looking for this Psyduck. I basically just cleared out this area a little bit and this is the last Psyduck I found. I think there's one more over there, but go away! But we totally just found a shiny Psyduck. He made the little shiny noise and everything. I almost freaked out. <laughs> go away, man. I would get someone trying to attack me the moment I find the Psyduck. Go away. I have to get, I have to get some items that make things go away because this dude needs to go somewhere. I got this food though, I'm gonna try to feed it and then capture it. I notice whenever you feed stuff, it's easy to capture. Although I could probably capture him without it, but I just want to be careful because I really want this guy. And I notice on the Pokedex it says feed, feed him stuff. is one of the missions. Let's use an Ultra Ball because I love this guy so much. There's no way I didn't capture him, he was eating too. Wow. <laughs> there we go guys, level 20, blue, shiny. Psyduck. Wow. I cannot believe it. Yeah, you want to fight now. You don't want to fight now. Now that I got the Psyduck. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. I cannot believe how lucky we got. Literally, I found that Psyduck within the first 10 minutes of me looking for him. It was probably less than that. Like, I didn't even clear out the first pasture before I found the Psyduck. Like, seriously. Oh man, that was so much easier than I thought. I literally thought it'd take me hours upon hours of searching for this guy and I found him literally right away. Wow, hi. I gotta find another one of you so I can have a gold duck and a Psyduck. Oh. This is it next to a normal Pokemon. As you can see, it's uh, they're about the same size, but the size of the Pokemon can vary. Like you can also find like an alpha version probably of a of a Psyduck, but they can be very small and very big. It, it depends. These are about the same size. It looks like though, and this is a gold duck for comparison. Wow, that's just. <laughs> Wow, you guys. I mean, my name's Duck's Opinion, and it's not from Pokemon, obviously. But like, Psyduck is one of my favorite Pokemon's, 
So the fact that I have this little dude now, I love him so much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do of him, but God, I love him so much. So yeah, um, that's how that's basically how shinies work. You know, there's a very low percent chance you'll find one, but you'll you'll hear like the little shine noise. I know I didn't get that captured because I found him so quick. But just watch when I throw him out. The brick kind of hurt it. You'll hear that noise and you'll see little stars. And like, you'll know. Because when I heard it, I was like, oh my gosh. That was it. And I was like freaking out. So you'll know. So that's pretty cool, man. Shinies are awesome. You know, I didn't even know Shinies were a thing until Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And then my friend was telling me about them. I didn't even know they were a thing till then. So they're pretty new to me. But I'm excited to go see what other Shinies I can find and what other Shinies I can get. Let me know which ones you guys found in the comments below. And now I'm going to get back to more shiny hunting because that was so easy. Maybe I'll get lucky and find another Psyduck and make him a gold duck. Let me know what you guys think. Dust can fly. Like, subscribe. Talk to you on the flip side. Peace.